Namaste, I'm Archana. Welcome to today's practice. Today we are going to be doing a yoga routine that's going to help us with increasing our flexibility. Let's begin by coming into a comfortable seated position. Keeping your back straight, chin parallel to the floor. Palms can be in receiving position or you can adopt chin mudra or jnana mudra. Close your eyes or keep a soft gaze looking at the floor. Take a deep breath in and breathe out completely. While you're breathing in and out, just notice the movements happening in your abdomen and chest region. Notice it moving up and collapsing back. On your next breath, as you breathe in, you're going to push your belly out and as you breathe out, you're going to pull your navel back towards your spine. Two more of this. The next time we breathe out, we're going to chant one round of Om. Try and split the letters O and M and chant it throughout your exhalation. Breath in. Oh. Bring your hands behind your back with your left, hold your right wrist, lean forward. Try to bring your forehead to anchor to the floor or mat in front of you. Inhale, slowly come back up. Bring your hands in front of your eyes and gently open your eyes with a few blinks. So we're going to first do our neck rotations. Drop your chin to your chest. Just letting your head go heavy. Now take small circles clockwise. I'm going to do three clockwise, three anti-clockwise. All the time remembering to breathe in and out. You can keep your eyes open or you can close it. Look ahead. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Now you're going to draw your interlaced fingers towards the right side of your waist. Your chest opens up, shoulders squared. Now slowly drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Notice a nice stretch all along the left side of your neck. Stay here, breathing in and breathing out. And see if you can, at um, this point, coordinate as you breathe in, abdomen coming out. As you breathe out, your navel is going back in. Look straight ahead. This time, we're going to move our interlaced fingers in the direction of the left side of your waist. Shoulders, the right shoulder stays down. This time, drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Notice the movement happening in your abdomen. Notice the stretch in your neck. Just one last deep breath in and out. Look ahead, release your fingers. 
Take a deep breath in. Raise your hands up this time. Look up at your fingers. Breathe out and down. You don't have to touch the mat. Again, inhale up. Drop your head back to wherever it feels comfortable. Look at your fingertips. Breathe out. Last time, breathe in. Breathe out. Down. We're going to come to tabletop. Come on to your fours. Your knees are below your hip, palms below your shoulder. Toes can stay engaged or you can rest it such that the, the soles of your feet, feet face the ceiling. Now breathe in, arch your back, look up. Breathe out. Chin to chest, pull your navel in. So we're going to do Marjari Asana and Bittil Asana with Tiger breathing. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Once more. The next time we are doing this, we are going to be breathing in, you are looking straight ahead. As you breathe out, you want to engage your toes, push your seat back, round chin to chest. Notice a stretch in your uh, lower back. Inhale, come forward. So you, may, you need not be directly, uh, your shoulders need not be directly over your wrist. Slightly ahead, arch, look. Nice stretch in the front of your neck. Breathe out. And slowly open your knees. A little wider. Reach your hands forward. Come to lying down in Shashankasana. Or extended child pose. We're going to stay here for a couple of breaths, breathing in and out. After two long deep breaths, walk your hands back. Bring your knees below your hip, palms below your shoulder, engage your toes, slowly lift the knees up so that your heels, if possible at this point, come to rest on the mat. If not, if it is raised, that's totally fine. Arms and ears in line. From here, drop the right knee, straighten the left. Drop the left knee, straighten the right. So you're gonna feel a nice stretch on the leg that is extended. You can do up to five. Now bring the right leg between your palms. Drop the left knee onto the mat. Come to Anjanayasana. Bring both your palms on your thigh and you're going to kind of the knee should not cross your toes at any given point, but a nice gentle push forward so that you're, you're feeling a nice opening on the left side of your thigh. I'll show it to you on the right side soon. Stay here, breathe in, breathe out, and breath in, and out. Come back, palms come onto the floor, or you can stay here, lift the back knee up, straighten. If need be, walk the leg slightly ahead. We're going to come to Parshavottanasana, pyramid pose. This is slightly stretched pyramid. Trying to bring your forehead to rest on your knee or the nose. Just see how you feel, okay? 
Stay here. Breathe out. Hands come onto the mat. Walk the leg behind. This time raise both your heels off the mat. Drop it down. Two. And three. Now step the left leg between your palms. Drop your right knee onto the mat. Try and see that you are uh, pushing your knee as far behind as you can. Bring both your hands to rest onto your thigh. Another thing that you can do is if you're not very comfortable resting it directly, you can place a, a thick towel below your knee. Stay here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breath in. Breath out. Notice how you're feeling a nice opening in the front of your thigh. Let's come down, engage your toes. Lift the knee up. Walk your foot slightly ahead. Straightening the left knee, bringing your forehead as close as possible. Keep your toes engaged. Bring both your feet together. This time, if you want to keep your legs wide, just move them slightly, bending your knees, relaxing everything. Drop your left knee onto the floor. I'm just going to like, gently, okay? Never drag your knee on, on the mat. Come to Parighasana or Gate Pose. Place your heel on the mat, toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Pelvis is in neutral position, don't tilt it forward or back. So this is going to give a nice stretch to the lateral side of your body. Take your right hand and place it either below or above the knee. At no point when we're doing any asanas that we're going to be putting our weight directly on the joints. Feel a nice stretch all along the left side of your body. Stay here. Two. And one. We're just going to do a counter stretch. Now bring left hand, drop it onto the floor or grab a block. Place your hand here and stretch out. You can also just place a book and hold it here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breath in. And out. Now bring your hands back. Come to sitting. Like you're sitting in Janu Shirshasana. Turn and look towards the right side of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Reach your hands up. Breathe out. Either hold the toes, your ankle, wherever your hand reaches, hold it here, drop down. Initially, you can begin by looking at your toes. Every time you breathe out, you're going to come closer towards your thigh, bringing your chest closer towards your thigh. Last two more breaths. As you breathe out, this time you can look at your knee. Or just stay, you know, looking at your toes, wherever it feels comfortable. Walk your hands back. One very important thing is not just going into a pose. How you come out of a pose also is really important. Now just, we're going to go in the center. Inhale, hand goes up. Exhale, reach forward, fold in fold forward here if you can drop your forehead onto the mat if not just rest your forearms palms facing down breathe in breathe out you may notice a stretch in the back of your knees bring your awareness there stay there breathe in and out come up you're going to go into a twist Take your left hand, place it behind your left buttock or the tailbone, right hand 
hold on to the thigh, turn and twist and look to the uh, room on the left side. Stay here. Breathe in. Try and keep your spine erect. Two. Chest open. And one. Come back to center. We're going to repeat uh, this on the other side. Come on to your knees. Bring both your knees below your hip. This time I'm going to extend my left leg. Heels engaged, toes pointing up. Notice how my knee is feeling. Keeping my pelvis in neutral position. Take a deep breath in. I take my left hand, reach out. Take, draw my right hand all the way towards the left side of the room. Stay here, breathe in. I'm looking straight ahead too. Every time I breathe in, I'm going to try and see if I can expand the right side of my rib cage and breathe out. Just remember uh, to keep your face relaxed. On inhale, I just cartwheel to the other side. Drop your hands down, take a book if you need, put a block. You can be on your fingertips or your palms can rest. Notice like if you're on your fingertips, you feel less of a stretch. If you drop your palms, the stretch deepens. Hold your one. A counter pose. Two. Keep your eyes closed just to enjoy the sensations you're feeling in your body. And one inhale. Come up. Bend your right knee. Heels come close to your groin. If it's not on your knee, just keep it slightly open. Um, your feet doesn't have to come all the way up towards your groin. Janu Shishasana. On the left side, inhale, hand goes up. Exhale, reach forward. Breathe in, breathe out. If you want to keep looking at your toes. If not, just drop your forehead onto the knee. Take a breath in, come up. Now we're gonna go in the center, inhale, hand goes up, exhale, forward. Just staying in each pose for two to three breaths. Hands come up. Now take your right hand, place it behind your right buttock, left hand, hold your right knee and twist. Feel a nice twist in your waist. Just taking long deep breaths. Inhale forward bring both your feet together getting your heels as close as possible towards your groin we're going to come that back to lying on a back in sutta baddha konasana come onto your forearms and then all the way onto your back palms can rest your right palm on your abdomen, left on your chest. Stay here and we'll do a quick a relaxation technique. Bring all your attention to your abdomen and notice how your belly is moving up and down. Slowly shift your attention 
to your breath. As you breathe in, notice your belly push your palm up. And as you breathe out, just let your belly sink back. Feel your whole body melting into the mat. Going to do this for two more breaths. Now bring your attention to the tip of your nose. As you breathe in, feel the cool air entering your nostril. As you breathe out, feel the warm air on the top of your upper lip. Two more rounds. The next time we breathe out, we're going to chant one round of Om. So first, bring both your knees to touch. Now slowly straighten both your legs out to the corners of the mat, letting your legs flop to the side. Hand can continue staying on your abdomen and chest. Take a deep breath in. You can stay here for a few more minutes. Thank you for joining me in today's session. For more content like this, like and subscribe. I would appreciate it if you can spread the word about my channel.